Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. Hello, it's Laura Eisenhower. I am just feeling something wanting to come through me tonight, and it has to do with a message I would like to send to folks like Bill Gates. I could put a huge list together of all those that I would like to address, but I'm talking like cabal members. I'm talking people that are trying to create a new world order. I'm talking to those that have been manipulating and abusing the human population. I am talking to those that are wrapped up in some sort of covenant with some demonic forces to do all you can to establish uh, further world domination for yourselves and enslavement for the rest of the human race. First off, this is a violation of free will. It's a violation of cosmic and natural law. Yes, we understand the need to play a dark role, but you're taking it way too far. And this is a time on the planet right now where the mother energy and the mother earth planetary consciousness holds true dominion. Je suis ancien combattant, militant socialiste et bistrot. C'est de dire si dans ma vie j'ai entendu des conneries. Bill Gates, the world's second wealthiest man, is the target of wild screwball conspiracy theories claiming he engineered COVID-19. The conspiracy theory stems from this TED talk that the co-founder of Microsoft gave five years ago, warning of a global pandemic. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. And sadly, it seems they care very little for any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake. We must test for the virus in order to stop the spread of it. What could be a very great recession, some predicting even a depression. At worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. I feel like the more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. We don't have immunity to this virus. It's a new virus. It's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before. Oh. The talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hot spot to another. That world, which I find to be very interesting. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said, that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Whatever you do, don't try this at home. This clip, widely shared on WhatsApp, is just one example of the many... We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15 day period as it, as it relates to this virus, where we must slow the spread of coronavirus. Really? Silver is the weapon against coronavirus? on other strains yeah. of the coronavirus and has been uh, able to eliminate it within 12 hours. It's actually the safest time to fly. Everyone I know that's flying right now, 
terminals are pretty much dead. We have a responsibility to slow down this virus and to think of other people during this time. And so if you can keep your distance and prevent someone from getting close to you that might be sick, you could save yeah. your family, you can save the elderly and help our country as a nation. It is absolutely disgusting that Democrats are seeking to use this complex virus to score cheap political points. This dangerous health crisis could dovetail quickly into a political crisis, already feeling economic ramifications of it all. Уважаемые зрители, добрый день. Сегодня у нас снова в гостях полковник Главного разведывательного управления Генерального штаба Вооруженных сил России, кандидат военных наук и общественный деятель Владимир Васильевич Пачков. Здравия желаю. Владимир. Мне, э, вот этого коронавируса, так называемой пандемии, еще раз скажу, никакой пандемии нет, хотя все ложь. Вот. Э, его нужно оценивать с точки зрения, как понимать, как глобальную, стратегическую, э, специальную операцию. Именно вот так нужно понимать это явление. Это командно-штабные учения мировой закулисы по владению э, полным контролем над человечеством. Hey guys, so I hope you're all doing well today. So as promised in my last video, I said that I would show you guys the remedy that I use to relieve my symptoms of the COVID-19. So here's all the ingredients that I use. So you'll need an onion, orange lemon ginger and um and these are organic ginger but it doesn't have to be organic and also some apple cider vinegar on facebook fake posts offering tips from doctors like this one claiming to be from a stanford hospital board member going viral offering this self-test for people telling them to hold your breath for more than 10 seconds saying if they have no discomfort that basically indicates no infection that's been debunked. Stanford saying it did not come from them. Bill, he sure seemed to nail it. But the way President Trump's one-time political consultant Roger Stone sees it, it's evidence of a possible conspiracy. He and other globalists are definitely using it in a drive for mandatory vaccinations and microchipping people so we can tell, quote-unquote, whether you've been tested. You know what I say? Over my dead body. Now, I wasn't aware of this video until today, but there is a supermarket chain in South Australia that have been doing little video updates about how life is like on the front line of supermarkets. Well, in that video, uh, there is a tremendous bit of news that there was a dickhead who decided to purchase, and I'm not joking here, literally, literally thousands of rolls of toilet paper. Of course, that meant that everyone else in South Australia had to go without, and now he's trying to return it for a refund. And I had my first customer yesterday who said he wanted to get a refund on 150 packets of 32-pack toilet paper and 150 units of one-litre sanitizer. I told him that. That is the sort of person that is causing the problem in the whole country.